Hey everyone, welcome back to another action-packed video from the Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. It's uh, November 4th, and it's fall here in Oklahoma, and there's a couple things you need to do for your beehives in the fall. You need to treat them for mites, because mites are probably the most destructive thing uh, for your beehive as far as their health goes. Uh, imagine if you had... A giant tick on your back here's a good prop imagine if you had a giant tick the size of whatever this guy's name is stuck on your back sucking the blood out of you all the time that's about the size of varroa mite is as percentage of body weight uh, to a bee maybe not quite that big but anyway these varroa mites will suck the life out of your colony and when you get enough of them in there, the colony will die out. Uh, they'll leave. Uh, they could just die. The, the varroa mites carry a lot of diseases. So look up varroa destructor mite for beehives. And learn all about how to take care of those. The reason you treat for varroa mites in the fall is because the queen is not laying very much at all. And when a varroa mite lays its eggs, it usually lays them inside of a cell of a bee. And they prefer drone cells because a drone cell takes longer to develop. So the mite larva will stay in there longer with the, uh, the drone larva and feed off of it. So when those bees come out, they're deformed, their wings will be crinkled. Uh, so the varroa mites like to stay in a, in a sealed cell. So when you treat your hives, and I use oxalic acid, and I'll go over this here in a minute with this, the oxalic acid uh, has to get on a mite to kill the mite. Uh, it kills mites, but it doesn't kill bees, the uh, oxalic acid vapors. So if a, if a mite is in a closed cell, the vapor can't get to it. So when you treat with your oxalic acid you need to do it like two consecutive weeks at least three times is better uh, so go three weekends in a row you know seven days apart so you'll catch them uh, in an open cell and break their cycle uh, so that's why this time of year is the best time to do it because there's not many cells in there because the queen's not laying much uh, so i'm going to get ready uh, to go out and treat all my hives I've serviced my generator. I got my new uh, Oxivate Pro Vape 110. And I did an unboxing video on that uh, earlier this year, so you can check that out. So I'm going to use this. You can use it in the front of your hive. This is here as a uh, screened bottom board. I'm using this for a demonstration. So uh, this is uh, one from Man Lake, so it has a removable bottom. So all my bottoms are in right now, and you can treat with this uh, vaporizer in the front or the back. Uh, they recommend the back uh, because you won't be in front of the entrance where the bees are coming and going, and it's a lot easier to uh, keep a seal on the hive so the vapors stay in there if you can close off the front and uh, come into the back side and treat it from there. So what you have to do is drill a hole in your bottom boards in the back. Uh, you don't want to do it in your honey supers because you move those around, or not your honey supers, in your high bodies because you move those around. So real quick, I'm going to show you how uh, we drill the hole here, show you how that inserts in there, uh, just demonstrate that. And I got all my instant entrance reducers here that I'm going to put on some of these. Uh, I really don't like these because when you get it on the hive, you got a box on top here, and then they're hard to grab a hold of. You have to reach in there with a screwdriver or something to pull them out, and the bees always propolis them in place. If you watch many of my videos, you notice I, I just stack a lot of little 2 by 4 blocks across the front. That's how I, I've been operating. But uh, with this oxalic acid, I'm going to put this on with a little bitty hole right there uh, so some bees can come and go. But uh, I think actually they recommend you seal it up, but I think that small of a hole there is not going to hurt. So anyway, let's get this hole drilled. 
And uh, on these bottom boards here, these screened ones from Man Lake, this, uh, there's a metal ridge right around here from that uh, little piece of tin. So, and that's what holds on the, uh, the screen right there. Get that where you can see it. See that little strip of metal right there? And it curls around onto the back. So I'm going to have to drill through that and do a little hole punch and be sure I get that centered. So I got my little handy dandy hole punch here. Let's see, make sure I do the right side. Yep, I got the back. So it punch me a hole about right in the center. Well, that metal is just right in the wrong spot. We'll see how it works. Okay, we got us a quarter inch drill bit here. And see how this goes. Get through that metal first. There it went. I think there was a knot on the other side of that. That's why it... So, uh... Left some little metal burrs there. Okay, I want to demonstrate real quick how this works. You can kind of see a close-up here of how it inserts uh, in the bottom of the beehive on this screen bottom board here. So what you'll have is your little cup of oxalic acid waiting, sitting on top of your hive. You'll come up behind it with your vaporizer and you'll have it upside down. You come up to your little cup, you press it in there, you insert it in the back and see how the little nozzle sticking out there then you turn it over and give it a tap and the crystals will fall down in the vaporizer and go up into the hive and that's how it's done so let's get out there uh, it's a nice outside it's supposed to be about 59 today and uh, there's a pretty light breeze so first thing I'm going to do is go out and drill all my holes and then the next step will be uh, with the vaporizer. So this may be a, a two part video. I don't know. We'll see how it goes and see how long it gets. So let's get started out there. Okay, we're going to start uh, 
right here on hive number one. I'm going to get you a close up of this one and then uh, I'll just back the camera up and uh, go down the road. You can see all of that as I do them. So here we go. Let's get started. So this is a solid bottom board, a slatted rack brood chamber. So we'll put it right in the top of this solid bottom board here. And this is the same way as the one over there. So we're going to put it up in the slatted rack. At least five here left to do. Okay, that concludes the preparation for the uh, Provate Vaporizer. We got all of our quarter inch holes drilled in the back of the hives. And we got an angry bee after my drill and me. Anyway, so uh, that's the end of this part of the video. If it's uh, long enough, I'll make it a two-parter. So this is uh, maybe an ending, maybe not. So give me a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, be sure and subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.